my name is Tim Hunt. I'm here to talk about the future of science education. How do we encourage the next generation of young scientists? How can we get out the best, find the brightest, best young minds? I think in many ways they don't need much encouragement. I think the young scientists will encourage uh, themselves. But we shouldn't put obstacles in their way. That's really important. And we should also encourage sort of romance and fun and, and playing around. There's a little bit of a problem with current education methods that they tend to be a, a little bit serious. Most of real creativity comes from playing around with things, you know, playing, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. That kind of uh, curiosity and, 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 and playfulness desperately needs encouragement in my view. I can, you know, only speak from my own experience. I wanted to be a scientist from a young age because of a wonderful teacher and uh, that remains an excellent model and one of the problems we face is how to get uh, specialist uh, people with the knowledge required to go into the teaching profession. It's not clear, for example, how to make the teaching profession more attractive to people who really know what they're talking about. And this is perhaps one where um, you know, governments have a role because they mostly pay the teachers and uh, the question is, you know, should there be special incentives for for highly qualified teachers. We need to encourage at least a, a one generation of discoverers, people who are able to recognize the unusual, the unexpected, and then to make sense of it in a totally honest, truthful way and to, to communicate that to their peers and to the rest of the world. 